hi guys! I'm Filoteo Santos and right now I'm here at the Filipinas Bilis Kilos Headquarters. For now, I will be your guest host and with me no, is Miss Kim, the daughter of the mayor of Sogod, Southern Leyte. So uh, Miss Kim, maybe you'd like to introduce yourself to our viewers? Hello everybody! I'm Kim. Uh, I'm actually also working for the campaign of uh, Mayor Isko Moreno. Uh, so yeah, I happen to be in Manila, so I dropped by the headquarters. Mm -hmm. So um, we're actually interested to know whether what's the situation ba in Visayas and Mindanao? Kasi dito sa Luzon, medyo ano kami, Luzon-centric, tama ba yung word? Yeah. Um, I think in my own perspective, Luzon is very media-based. Yeah. And especially kami malayo yung lugar namin, di ba? Very far from the capital. So what we do, we go directly to the people. We go directly sa masa. Kaya di mo, siya, di mo masyadong mararamdaman kasi it's not Facebook-based. It's not survey-based. Di nga maabot yung survey sa amin eh. But from what I know is that um, people would want somebody relatable. I say people as majority of the population, which is yung, the, yung, the masses. So yun, um, I wouldn't say it's quiet over there. It's definitely gaining ground. Can't say the same about Mindanao. I don't know about Mindanao, but I'd like to say, in, at least in my part, um, sa part namin sa Visayas, in Southern Leyte, in Sogod specifically, it's gaining ground talaga. So yeah, I'm confident about that. So effective yung, talagang effective yung pag-iikot ni Mayor Isko dito sa sa Southern Leyte kasi if we can remember no uh, when was that he was in Samar nitong past yeah, uh, past yeah, few weeks uh, ago Talbayo, no? Katbalogan, mm -hmm. yeah I followed that ano so yun um siguro, siguro can you tell us why do you support your me um like i said sa amin kasi we're far from the capital mm -hmm. right very far from manila and majority of the people there are farmers um fisher folk a lot are in belong to class C and D, mm -mm. and E. So, in nga, I, I was thinking for hours, because for for somebody, for my family, who's been into public service for as long as I can remember, mm -hmm. we want somebody to lead the country. Na tao naman, because mm -hmm. pag nasa malayo ka, you don't feel the presence of the national government mm -mm. and from what we saw in manila with how fast everything happened parang sabi namin pwede pa ganyan na lang for for everybody <laughs> uh -oh. and then he super ano eh like tao muna tao muna so what we tell our people na if we give this guy a chance parang you bring malakanyang closer to the people as mm -hmm. as cliche that that sounds but that's really what's happening because he's mm -hmm. not he's not unreachable mm -mm. you can see it here in manila he's close to the people so i don't think that's impossible for the entire country so what certain issues by in sogo do you think can mayor isko uh, solve um for a town wala kasi kaming main industry mm -mm. um siguro in the past few years it was abaka I don't know if you're familiar with that. Mm -hmm. So the, the province of Southern Leyte was one of the biggest abaca producers in the country. And because the Philippines is one of the biggest producers of abaca in the, in the entire world, probably, in, the, in how, how many years ago. So nung nawala yung industry na yan, people really just focused on farming, fishing. I was hoping that there would be some sort of change, na at least to upgrade their uh, yung mga gamit mm -hmm. nila. Uh, to modernize a little bit, to be more efficient. Because mm -hmm. I know Mayor Isko wants, the, I always hear that from him, efficiency. <laughs> so I think that would really need a big upgrade, our um, agriculture industry, because that's like one of the biggest means of um, survival and livelihood for the people in our place. Mm -hmm. so, ano, if we can, re we can relate this to what Mayor Isko is always saying, a, pe uh, a peso spent on other areas is way... Tama ba yung wording ko? 
Yeah, so, uh, parang the, the value is bigger if you spend it, if you compare mm -hmm. spending a peso here in Manila and spending a peso there in the province, parang mm -hmm. the value is, is bigger there and no one else can relate to that but us. Yes. Because it's the other way around when we come here and we spend our money, our money that was earned in the province, we spend it here in Manila, the value mm -hmm. becomes smaller. So that's why we feel that statement very much. Okay, so thank you very much, Miss Kim, and uh, thank you very much to our viewers for watching. So please don't forget to like and subscribe to the Vlogcaster Armandine channel.